day one. All right, so this is day well, one. Or day two, depending on what you count. Yeah. If you count travel, day two. Day one in Hawaii. So we are here on the Ali'i Highway um, on the Kona side of the big island in our um, Ford Mustang convertible uh, that we got a free upgrade to, which was really great. And we're getting ready to hit the road. So I've, I've got an iced coffee that uh, I picked up this morning. We've got some macadamia popcorn snacks. Brian won't eat this, but it's pretty good. Yeah, she won't drink the coffee, so <laughs> it's a win for everyone. Um, but we're gonna head out here, and uh, we'll just uh, we'll just kind of show you stuff as we go, and uh, different videos and different clips on the road. But this is day one in Hawaii, so here we go. Yay!
stay in the Hilo side so we can explore that area tomorrow. Yeah. So do you feel do you feel like has Hawaii met your expectations so far on day one? Yeah. Is it everything you thought it would be? It is. Well, we haven't really done it all that much, but yeah. Uh huh. Did you enjoy your malasadas? I did. Try. We got the a guava malasada, which was pretty good, but it was just kind of a little bit of guava taste in the dough. Mm -hmm. And then we had a lilikoi glaze malasada, which was that was probably our favorite, I think, because it was like unique to the island really good and we got a uh, what was it called chop well, bismarck it was bismarck, oh, bismarck chocolate Mom's out of, but it had cream inside of it and then chocolate kind of like an eclair and it was really tasty but not quite as unique to why as a little quick place but really good really good chocolate taste <laughs> and you can't a lot of malas I've, i haven't had a malasada with chocolate glaze on the top before. Normally it's just the malasada maybe with something filled inside of it or the dough will be something different. Like I've seen that at I think maybe one other place but it was really weird that it had um, icing on the top so that was really different. So. Oh that one over there right there is the volcano? With the smoke on the top? I think so. But maybe not. I don't know. I'd have to look at a map. It might actually be off there closer and farther ahead. Yeah. Because I think we still have a ways uh, east. We still need to go east a pretty good bit. Yeah. Before we can turn up. We are about to stop at the Black Sand Beach. And hopefully we'll see some turtles there today. Yeah. All right, so we're walking down to the Black Sand Beach. Sometimes there's turtles. We actually saw a turtle here last time on our honeymoon, right? I think we did. There was a turtle. Everybody was standing around it, like, trying to mess with it and stuff. Which is actually a big no-no. And not, like, no-no, like, the Hawaiian word, like... No-no, just the, the English word. I'm sure there's something in Hawaiian that's no-no. Do you remember what that's called? Uh, Nalpaka. Nalpaka. That helps. You can you can spread that on your um, crush it up and spread it on your snorkel uh, goggles, and it'll keep them from falling out. Yeah, that's right. All right, I'm gonna take my shoes off. It's like this is now Paca. It's like natural um, snorkel. Instead of going and like paying for the stuff in the store to like make your snorkel gear not fog up, you can just take some of these and crush it up. We've we've done it actually before. It actually works. Yeah. seeing sea turtles and um, just checking out black sand which is kind of and there is a sea turtle over there so we'll, we'll go get a closer look at him in a second all right so we were busy taking uh, water shots by the by the lower part of the beach over here and we missed the almost missed the turtle going back in the ocean so I'm gonna see if I can get over here and get some shots
Got a good amount of sun. Now back into the ocean. There's a, there's a line building it up now. Turtle line. My thoughts about the sea turtles. Sea turtles were cool. Um, yeah, they're neat. It was fun to see them getting in and out of the water. Did you like that? I just saw three. Yeah, three turtles. They're kind of interesting because they, they're very much like, they take their time and they're very restful. Like they, they move a little bit and then they rest for a lot. And then you think they're not going anywhere but then they move some more. And so I think they just, it either takes a lot of energy to do what they're doing, which I could understand because they don't have the most efficient way to move across land and they are very heavy. Yeah. But, um, oh, there's a cow. Um, or they could just be really patient. Maybe they just don't feel like they have a huge time crunch to go. Well, and it seemed like when they hit an obstacle like a rock, they would rest for longer. So it's like they had to, like, yeah. Gear it up. took more energy to. Climb up the rocks. And then they put a big burst for it to get up over. Yeah. The lava went all in around it and like basically made a mold of what the tree looked like, like on, on the outside. Yeah. So you can like see all the bark, like the indentations of like where the bark would have been. And then it went like all the way down around, it like went all the way around the tree.